Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to evaluate expressions. Now, to evaluate an expression, that just means to find the value of the expression. So, what it equals once you work through it. We will go through four examples two examples with one variable and two examples with two variables. These examples will help us learn how to evaluate expressions using substitution. They will set us up for success moving forward and give us a strong foundation to build off of once we start evaluating more complex expressions. Let's jump into number one where we have x plus 22. Now for numbers one and two, we need to evaluate these expressions or find the value of these expressions when x equals five. The first thing that we need to do, we need to replace or plug in the given value for the variable. That's called substitution. So for number one, let's plug five in for x and rewrite this expression. So we have five plus 22. Now we can evaluate. So we find out what this equals. 5 plus 22, that equals 27. So the value of this expression is 27 when x equals 5. Let's move on to number 2 where we have 8x. Now we have a number next to a variable. That means we are multiplying. So this is 8 times x. Let's plug in and evaluate. So we have 8 times 5. 8 times 5 equals 40. So the value of this expression is 40 when x equals 5. Now one thing I do want to mention about number 2, when we plug 5 in for x, make sure to use something to represent multiplication. I used a dot. We can't put those two numbers together, the 8 and the 5, to represent multiplication. That would look like 85. We can only put a number next to a variable to represent multiplication. So something to keep in mind. Let's move on to numbers 3 and 4 where we have two variables and multiple operations. We will start with number 3 where we have 7b minus a. So 7 times b minus a. Let's start by plugging in the given values for a and b. And we will rewrite this expression with those substitutions. So 7 times b, well b equals 9, so plug in 9, minus a. a equals 10, so plug in 10. Now we can evaluate, but we have more than one operation. We have multiplication and subtraction. So we need to use the order of operations, PEMDAS, in order to work through this. So parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. Multiplication comes before subtraction, so let's multiply first. 7 times 9 equals 63. Then we can bring down the subtraction sign and the 10. We end with 63 minus 10. That equals 53. So the value of this expression is 53 when a equals 10 and b equals 9. Lastly, let's move on to number 4 where we have a plus 18 divided by b. Let's plug in and evaluate a equals 10, so plug in 10 for a, plus 18, divided by b, b equals 9, so plug in 9 for b. We have addition and division, so we need to go through the order of operations. Division comes before addition, so let's divide first. 18 divided by 9 equals 2, bring down the addition sign, and the 10. So we end with 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2 equals 12. So the value of this expression is 12 when a equals 10 and b equals 9. 
So there you have it. There's an introduction to evaluating expressions using substitution. I dropped links to more videos and examples down in the description. Those are great follow-ups to this introduction. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.